Miss Mimi. Hi, Miss Abby. Are you ready to answer 10 questions for our 10th season? Let's do it. First question is, how did Fidel start? Ooh, Fidel started um, almost 10 years ago. Miss Tina Cook, the owner of Turning Point Dance, um, invited me and another instructor out to lunch. And they had just launched um, their musical theater company and Miss Tina had an idea to offer the same opportunities for dance students and said, what do you think? And we said, let's go. Awesome. Second question, what has been the most unexpected blessing from Fidel? I think the most unexpected blessing is just the ripple effect that God creates through every production. And I think it's really cool that sometimes we see it and sometimes we don't, but just the network of gospel-driven creators that he is connected through every year has been really remarkable to see. Amazing. Uh, a lot of people have been wondering, how do you decide on music? That's a tough one. Um, you have to start with the story to know what you're listening for. Um, and then the same way I come up with anything is just through a lot of prayer. But I've been very blessed in my life to have grown up in both figure skating and dance. So I've been around a lot of music for a lot of years. And then now doing this for 10 productions, um, I have a lot of places to jump off from and really go from there. Wonderful. <laughs> what is your vision for Fidel? My vision for Fidel has always been to impact our community for his kingdom through the arts. I think this industry is one that gets distorted a lot by the enemy, um, and I would love to just continue to use this company to work to restore the arts as a reflection of God. Awesome. <laughs> what is your favorite part about creating a show? Watching the amazing students and volunteers and costumes and props and sets all come together and bring it to life. What is the hardest part about creating a show? Making all of the costumes <laughs> and props and sets all come together to bring it to life. Um, what have you learned from Fidel in the last 10 years? I've really learned to loosen my grip and let go and trust God to do his work through it and it's not always how hard I work or how much I control and hang on to but to really pray over it and trust in him and let him shine through the details. Um, for the story of Bring Her Home, what is the biggest difference between the book and the, our show? Probably the colors. What about the colors? Well, in the books, the Cavendish colors are black and green. But the book also has the advantage of being able to tell you where you are in the story and even the characters' names. Whereas in a stage adaptation, we have to show all those things. So um, we made the decision to go away from the book to really show um, the two different kingdoms because they're very, very different. And to use the colors of the costumes, the set pieces, things like that, to create two very different worlds even though they're on the same stage and you're seeing them from the same seat. So our rain leaf colors are very calm. You got blues, purples, greens, and blacks um, to really give a sense of royalty and calm. And then by contrast, our Cavendish colors are very hot. So you've got reds, yellows, oranges, browns, um, so that it feels very loud and aggressive in comparison. How can people pray for us in our last month of rehearsal? Ooh, great question. I think this is the time of the year where um, it can very easily get overwhelming when you're focused on getting everything done and just right. And so I think my biggest prayer is just that calm and peace that only God can provide and that as many hearts as we can get into those seats um, and even streaming the production online, that anyone who encounters this message that we're telling just leaves and walks away with a renewed sense of hope and trust in the King of Kings. Awesome. Thank you, Miss Mimi. Thanks, Miss Abby.